Merry meet guys and welcome back to or welcome to my channel. I can't say welcome back. Um, my name is Houston. If you are a new subscriber, um, I'm actually I hope my uh, camera or my computer setup works. I'm on my bed and I'm balancing my pillows, my um, computer on my pillows. So um, it seems to be working discreet. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram or on Facebook, um, you saw earlier today where I did um, went thrift store did some thrift store therapy um, and I wanted to share what I found with you guys because I went out looking for some witchy stuff and um, some stuff for um, the house which unfortunately did not find anything for the house um, I was looking for a table for outside um, even went to Walmart and they didn't have what I was looking for which kind of sucks but um, I'll still be on the search for that later but um, I found a really cool a uh, lot of cool items I went to three different um, thrift type stores um, I went to Goodwill first, and we'll go through that one first. Um, I got two things from Goodwill. Um, one that I'm super excited about. Um, I found this beautiful mortar and pestle. Paid only three dollars. It is beautiful. Um, I do think this is like a type of marble. Um, I don't think this is a precious stone. Um, I have to ask my manager tomorrow when I get to work. Um, this will be uploaded. This is um, today's Thursday. It will be uploaded tomorrow when I get to work and have internet. But um, I'm super excited to um, use this. The one I have, the mortar and pestle that I have now, is is smaller. So I'm really happy to find one like this at um, Goodwill for three bucks. And my other one I paid and I got from Canada for fourteen dollars. Has got it's a I think the Jasper, Jasper one, I think. Um, and it's got the moon and the sun engraved on it, but this one's gorgeous. Makes me feel like an apothecary because it's got, I don't know, it's just, it's beautiful. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, the other thing I got from Goodwill, it was a book. Um, I got, I only paid a dollar for this, but I got Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Um, I can't actually believe I found this. I'm pretty excited. Um, I don't know if this is the entire book, because I remember in high school the book was a lot bigger, but, um, oh it is, it's just a re, it's a rendition of the book, which is the same thing, it's just a newer edition, it's got illustrations in it, um, it's got, a no, uh, book club questions by noted educated author, off, educated author, Prober, um, EDD, I guess education doctorate, um, further enhance the reading experience. Um, it talks about the illustrator and the Mary Shelley herself, which I'm really excited. I've, um, I didn't read the Frankenstein in high school, and that was one of the books in the book club that, um, I was going to, but, um, I never got around to it. I stuck with, um, Edgar Allan Poe, and they didn't really have a good edition of Frankenstein. So I'm really excited to read this book. Um, the next, I went to um, a community thrift store um, here. That's We have two local community thrift stores, uh, the same name. Um, one is on in North Charleston and one's in Somerville. I went to the one in Somerville. Um, me and a friend went there the other day. Um, and he found something he liked. And um, I didn't get a really chance to look around because we were on a time crunch. So today I got a chance to actually look. And um, I found some cool stuff. Um, I don't know if I have this book. I know I have it. I don't know if I have it here at the house or is it back home. But um, I got Wizardology for a dollar. Um, if you guys have followed me for a long time, this book is really what started me on my um, path. Um, and I can link a video. I can link my How I Found Paganism. Um, below, but this book was a major portion of it, and I'm excited to get another copy of it. Everything I saw from the inside was still intact. The cards are still there. Um, you know, there's some rippage here and there, but you know, with a little tape and glue, it won't. It'll be a perfect book. So I'm excited to get this back. Um, I think I have. I know I have a copy of it. Yep, found it right over there in my book my bookcase. I know I have a copy of it, but there's no um, harm in getting two copies. So. 
and usually this book goes for twenty dollars and I got it for two bucks so um, and Mary Shelley's book is originally I paid a dollar fifty for this oh that's only originally ten dollars so I mean that's not still I would, I would have bought this brand new if it was you know and sold brand new it was only ten bucks that's not bad not bad at all um, the next thing I got um, from the community thrift shop it's pretty um, it's very pretty um, something that I, I may um, this little jar or bottle um, and I may use I'm definitely going to use this for moon elixirs or moon water um, but I paid a dollar fifty for this and I can't believe I found it this is gorgeous um, it's just beautiful with the, the little moon smiling in the star um, they had something at Goodwill that if it's still there next week I may go get it um, it was a silver about this big it was a silver um, it was a mirror with a silver etching around it and a moon that took up some of the mirror, like a crescent moon, and you had the mirror portion. I think that was uh, $10. Um, I didn't get it today, um, but if it's still there um, next Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm going to pick it up. So here's to hoping. Here's to hoping it's still there because that would be a really cute um, and really cool addition to add to, like, right above my altar or, um, you know, right above my bed space. Something like that, you know? So this was cute. Um, it's only a dollar fifty, and you can still see the. I gotta clean everything off. Um, clean and smudge later today, but it's very cute. Um, the next thing was I went to a used bookstore, which is very bad for me. Very bad. Because I have a ton of books already that I don't, that I haven't like even picked up yet, and I still buy more books. But they had a lot of cool stuff, and it's falling. Okay, they had a lot of cool stuff. Um, so I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, um, all together at the bookstore, I spent thirty bucks on those four items. Um, I'm gonna show you the uh, the books first, and then I have two decks of cards that I found. Um, the first book, which I've been eyeing this book. Um, Lords of the Seven Rays. Um, every time I go in there, it's in there. Um, it talks about the chakras um, and the seven different um, rays. Um, I think this is one of the things that was on um, the internet study course um, that I get a lot of my certifications through. Um, at the Seven Ray, the Gems of the Seven Rays, or something like that. And so um, this book is. Um, it always caught up to me every time I go in the store, and it was still there, and it was only three fifty-seven. I mean, this is a really, really thick book. I only paid three dollars and fifty-seven cent for it. Um, see if they have the original price somewhere. Probably don't. Um, this was printed back in nineteen eighty-six. So this is a really old book. Um, well, I mean, by today's standards, old. Um, it's not that bad, but it goes on to, okay, let's look at the table of contents, because I didn't really look at it, I just, I felt pulled to it, so I bought it, you know, those kind of things. Um, so it talks about the Lords of the Seven Rays, um, which is El Moria, uh, El Moria, um, so excuse me, I forget this, uh, Lord Lanto, Paul the Venetian, Vinen, the uh, Serpus Bay, Hilarion, Lady Mastered Nada in Saint Germain. Um, and then it goes into um, more detail of each of the seven rays. Um, and the seven rays are seen as, um, from what I understand, they're seen as like colors of the rainbow, um, the seven rays of light, the chakra system, the seven chakra systems, um, working your way up through an uh, ascension process. And these are the masters of those particular rays, are the ones I listed before. And it goes into um, Christ consciousness. Um, and if you know anything about ascension, Christ consciousness is kind of um, like Nirvana, um, where you're hitting a um, a peak or um, an awakening to an extent. So I'm pretty excited to start reading this book. Um, it'll definitely take me a while to get through it plus every other book that I have not finished. So if you guys really want me to do a review, I will try to 
try to. I know eventually I will do a review on this book, but it's going to be a while, so it will be a while. Um, the next book I got, which another one that called out to me, um, is called Power Tarot. Um, it says, More than a hundred spreads that give specific answers to your most important questions by Trish McGregor and Phyllis Vega. Um, this was six fifty, six dollars and fifty cent. Um, the only reason, one of the reasons why I got it is because it had, I looked through it and it had um, some really interesting spreads that I have never, um, I've never come across in my um, searching for new spreads. Um, to tell you the truth, I searched for new spreads online. Um, I go through tarot forums and see what people have created. Um, there's a local tarot forum here called Charleston Area Tarot Society, CATS. Um, and they uh, upload spreads um, almost every meeting they have, and they have a meeting, I think, the third Sunday of the month, each month. I've never been um, to a meeting yet, um, but I do read a lot of their information online. Um, so, I mean, I thought this was fan uh, very fascinating because I always love expanding um, the spreads and um, different ways of reading the cards. Um, and I think this would work also with Oracle cards um, as well as tarot cards once I get, you know, the spreads down. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that as well. Um, I, have, I don't, oddly enough, I don't have a lot of tarot books. I have, um, I think off the top of my head, I have books that came with decks, of course. So I have the Steampunk Tarot Book, I have the Wizards Tarot Book, I have the Book of Shadows Tarot Book, um, I have Fortune Telling, that's a book in and of itself, I can't remember the full name of it, I have the Egyptian Tarot Book, and Divination for Beginners? and the Merlin Tarot book. I was trying to look over at my bookcase, but it's hard to read through all of the books that I have stacked up. I need a second library, people. I need a second library. Okay. So I hope you can hear me fine. I have my fan going in the background, um, and my partner's asleep, so I'm trying not to talk too loud. Um, but the, the next thing that I got um, was $10. Um, it's an Oracle deck by Colette Baron reed um, called The Enchanted Map. Um, I have heard um, really good reviews on this, and when it was $10, I couldn't really pass up that offer. Um, I think it's usually it's usually 16 so I mean, um, I was going to try to pick up a Leomard card deck, but um, they were $24 and higher, and uh, it's a little bit more than I wanted to spend on a uh, deck at the moment. Um, so, um, this one, I have not had a chance to look through it. Um, I know I do have to cleanse because these cards are used. So, hold on, let me see what you... Sorry, I had to make sure. You know, going from a used bookstore, you don't know if you got all the cards or not. Apparently, I do. So, 54 cards in here. Um, they feel really heavy. Um, probably because I haven't cleansed them or anything. But the beautiful... Oh, my God. The artwork is, is beautiful. Um, here's one of the cards. Um, I know I have a glare on my screen. But it's called uh, Storm Fields. There's one called The Mountains. You're gonna see my reflection from my computer. Let's see if I can turn it down. So see the mountains. Um, the gentle gardener. You know, very pretty. So I'm excited to work with this deck. Um, I love Oracle decks. I think, um, especially Colette Baron reads. I have um, a lot of her. I have a couple of her decks. I think I have the Wisdom from the Hidden Realms and another one of hers, but um, it's add to my collection of Oracle decks, so I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. The next one, um, I was iffy on, and then I looked through the book that it had with it, and um, 
I have to say, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, guess that was a sign. Um, this is Love and Light Angel Cards. I paid nine dollars for them. Um, they're originally fourteen ninety-five. I paid eight ninety-seven, so nine dollars. Um, this is by Angela McGurr. McGurr. Um, Love and Light Angel or Love and Light Angel Cards. Um, what I work with angels a lot in my practice, um, either through healing or through spell work. Um, or cleansing, what have you. I do work with the angels a lot. Um, I work with a lot of different entities, but the angels playing a really important role. Um, see if I can get the cards out. Um, ooh, I really like them. Stuck the book. Go oh, turd. Okay. So, okay, I'm a little bit confused. Um, okay, so I guess there's two different portions, or there's different sections of this deck, um, because not all of them, okay, so I don't, like I said, I don't know much about the deck, but the first section has the green tree of life on the back of it, um, and the artwork is phenomenal, I mean, three of the cards there's another one the artwork on these guys are beautiful um, and it looks like they have the sigils of the angels like in the top corner at the H if you can see it they have like the sigils of the angels um, the second there's four different portions so I'm guessing maybe for the four different elements I have to read the, through the book that came with it um, but this section has this type of back to it very pretty. Um, and these are more like mandalas. Well, see, it's more like a mandala than a, um, than the other ones had like images and stuff on them. Yeah. So I mean, that's kind of cool. Um, the next one has, the next section has um, a light blue uh, tree of life with the like gleaming and these cards are like sacred symbols it looks like um, because here's the dove there's the dove um, there's the onk um, here's the moon um, so um, that's really cool. I'm pretty excited. That's another thing I have to cleanse. I gotta cleanse a lot of stuff, but um, Dragon's Blood works fantastic. Um, and the next section has this, um, looks like another little mandala um, portion to it. My fingers are dirty. Huh. Um, but these cards are kind of like, almost like galactic. There's the moon. Um, And there's like another one. Oop, this way. There's another one. So I'm excited to, to add these to my card collection. Um, and I have to say, it's um, very cool packaging. Um, I'm pretty excited. The card stock is it's it's perfect. Um, it doesn't look like these guys have been used much. I think someone bought them. I mean, they were, they weren't even shuffled, I mean, they were in the bag, like, they were separated still. So I think someone bought them maybe as a gift and then returned them to, uh, the bookstore to get some credit. Um, I mean, the, it, the book itself looks a little bit, um, damaged with cuts and stuff, but I mean, you get the hardback book, um, and then you get a little book inside that tells you all about the cards, um, and all about the suits and stuff, and then you get the cards that are tucked away in here. Um, and I've seen decks like this, I like Books A Million, or um, like they have their spell card kits, or rune card kits, or gypsy fortune telling kits, and they're in this hardback with a little book inside and a little section for um, 
uh, for the car, uh, for uh, you know the cards and stuff like that. So this may be where this came from. It may have came from Books a Million, um, but I did find it at Here Be Books here in Charleston or Somerville. So um, this video is getting kind of long. I'm going to um, end it. If there's um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, or anything you want to talk about, um, let me know. If there's any of the books, um, or if there's any topics that you would like me to talk about. Um, more so on my channel, um, where it could be as my path, as my path, um, how I blend different paths to create my own, um, my journey as a spirit keeper, um, working with the angels, working with tarot, working with oracle, um, working with psychic development, what have you, anything. Um, I'm more than happy to open up and uh, share with you guys um, a little bit more. Maybe if you want something like a day in a life of me. Um, I could do that too. Um, I don't have internet at the house at the moment. That's why this video is going up tomorrow when I get to work. Um, but that's hopefully that'll be um, that'll be fixed soon. We'll have internet hopefully soon, so I'll be able to upload more videos um, with you guys and um, share some more stuff. So uh, until I see you guys again, uh, many blessings and peace out.